Lynchgate Cottage, 1520, 1520. <laughs> Good morning. It's a lovely sunny morning, isn't it? It is indeed. It is. We're in uh, East Sussex and we're in the historic village of Hartfield. A.A. A. Milne country. Mm. Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Bridge, Bulbrook Castle, which we've done. Yep. In paranormal investigations. So we have a little walk around the village, see some of the old uh, buildings. So hopefully tell you a little bit of the history. We're not, we're not really swatted up. No. We're explorers really, we're not really uh, historians. We're just enthusiasts. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yes, yeah, so many. I mean, look at these guys. Look at these lovely, lovely old cottages. Bramble Cottage, Holly Cottage. Lovely. I think outside here, there was, there's a picture online of a VJ plus one uh, celebration oh, okay. of the villagers. And all the kids used to come from London, evacuated down here. And I think it's here, because I think that was, I think that was a butcher's. There's, there's words up on that beam. Look at that. See the beam Yeah. Seek the Lord and his strength. The heart rejoice that seeks the Lord. Lynchgate Cottage, 1520. 1520. And Waddell. What a lovely, lovely place to live. How lovely. The tower and spire is 15th century. So 13th century and 15th century origins. Yeah. Let's go into, oh, let's look at our old porch. There you go. So Mary the Virgin Hartfield. Yeah. As I said when I was in the church at Compton, St Nicholas, I do like old doors all bricked up. Very compact. All the grey stones are so close together. I wonder why that's around it though. Mm. Well, maybe they pay for it to be private. Yeah, sort of the sign coming in, it's about war graves. This is actually one of the nicest graveyards I've, uh, or churchyards I've seen in quite a while. Now they all pretty much look the same. Everyone has their own personality in the way they're, they're laid out. It's pretty nice. It goes all the way down to there. It's interesting, Hartfield. Obviously, we can't get to it. Uh, we've done paranormal investigations over at Bulbrook Castle nearby. Uh, it was an interesting place. One of Henry VIII's hunting lodges. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rather fascinating. I'll uh, pop in a couple of clips here. We are at Bulbrook Castle, January 2009, very interesting place, oh, the, rather last minute this. I think um, so far we might be in for an interesting evening, but we always say that, you never know. But absolutely gorgeous place, 15th century, uh, associated with Henry VIII, so we'll have to see. We're about to start our first vigil, um, spiral members, so we'll see how it goes. With the team gathered, we take a walk around the property. Medium Alan Barnett seemed to be picking up on former occupants of the building. Something coming along the corridor, a woman coming along the corridor and down the stairs. The skirts. Probably sort of Tudor period. Right, okay. Dressed that way. Right, you know, with the yeah. sort of headband and but very grand. Something like Lady Isabella or Isabella or Okay. And and the Sackville bit, I think. The end of it. Researching this name, we found Lady Isabella Sackville was associated with the property and with the daughter of Richard Sackville, third Earl of Dorset. 
Magnificent tombstone. Nice monument here, I think. We thought it was actually for dedicated for something. I think it's just a, a religious uh, sculpture. Nice old door. Okay, here you can see the stars. This is the newer, newer stonework. And here's the older stonework of the church. So it'd be much smaller back in the day. I love the, the mishmash of styles, the absolute mishmash of styles. Look at that. AD 1510 says up there. AD 1510, but someone lives there obviously, so lovely old door though, lovely old door. Let's go back into the village. Anchor in. Nice uh, pub lunch in there a few years back. It is interesting, you're getting, trying to get shots of some of the houses and some of the historic properties. Stream of cars always in the way, yeah. as, you can, as you can see. Just cars everywhere. It's so hard to get a sort of clear picture or a clear shot. The Hay Wagon, established 1540. 1540. 1540. 1540. Some of them down there must have been shops, as you can see. Yeah. Village stores, the only store now in um, in the village. Salisbury House, I've driven past it so many times. I just don't like this building. It seems so out of place in the village. I think it's sort of flats or apartments. Yeah, I just I just don't get it just seems out of place. Sorry if you live there, nothing personal. And of course, we're in Hartfield, so of course, we've got to talk about A.A. Milne and Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Pooh Corner. Yeah, yeah. We've got a Pooh Bridge nearby. And here's a little map of the area, then and now. A lot about the houses as yeah. well. So, so much traffic going through. So this was called the Sackville Cottage. That yeah. name Sackville again, very prominent uh, family in Sussex for many, many hundreds of years. Sackville family. Well, we're in Pooh country. Attractive. So what, what, what's that cottage called? The one that you used to uh, farm? A.A. Milne's farm a. is Milne's about farm. half a mile up towards Ashdown Forest. Um, he he owned it, and also Brian Jones owned it, the founder of the Rolling Stones. Yeah, the very two very famous people occupying that site. So you go just have a little trip around Hartfield, look at some of the old properties. They're very interesting actually. Mm. We've so I've been through Al lives locally, and I've been through here many, many times, but um it's really nice to actually stop it as you look at it. Yeah. So yeah, if you come here and know a little bit more. Oh a lot of old cottages, yeah. And mm. former and former shops that are now yeah. now uh, private dwellings, so yeah. So if you like the video please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you know anything more. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.